welcome back to a new video if you're new to the channel here my name is on the flute if you are already a subscriber welcome back i am so excited to be catching up today this is our very last day here in japan i am honestly so sad that we're gonna leave we're staying in such an amazing spot we actually came here to Matsumoto which is like the town five years ago in 2019 right before the pandemic Max and I barely travel to the same place twice we always love exploring new things however though this place Tobira Onsen is such an amazing onsen which is like a hot spring vibe and hotel that we really wanted to come back here and also bring Jason and all of that so we came back I'm gonna give you a little bit of a room tour right here so basically this is one of Tobira's like standard rooms and they're actually going to renovate all of this in the winter so you can see it's like very typical Japanese right here it's really cool and then this is like the little I don't know, is it a living room area? Of course, there is a little tea station right here. And then this is the view. It is fall right now. So everywhere the leaves are so red and yellow and orangey. It is absolutely stunning. This is like one of the places of where you come and you just immediately feel so zen. And I honestly don't have that often with a lot of places the one funny thing that we have noticed like being in japan even though matcha comes from japan it's actually something not really what people are consuming here on an everyday basis it's more something you see in very traditional tea houses and it's in a very ceremonial way rather than you know you grab a coffee or like you grab a matcha like literally all the young new cafes do not even serve matcha i think the reason for it is because a lot of the high-end matchas here just taste extremely bitter and very like umami and for a western palate for sure we just like the bitter stuff so i actually brought our very own nekohama matcha Ta -da! so let's make a matcha and then let's sit down and let's chat i first need to take this off because i am so hot the one thing i love about the onsens is the temperature is always really high everywhere so it's like very warm and comfy but i'm a little sweaty already let's make a nekohama terrified right now with this matcha above the white carpet this is not sound proof let's catch up i always love doing our coffee talk series because in a way it's some type of like therapy for me to just be talking and like getting things out there i don't know we are now in november and i starting to reflect a little bit on the last year and like there have been so many different transitions and things that i have been dealing with and i'm sure that you have that too you know it's fall right now it's like transition time i became a wife this year i got married i think it definitely like shifted something in me i have been thinking more about future about family i really wanted to make my health a priority and this is why also i wanted to get my period back i was on a weight gain journey as you guys have seen so there's been a lot of change the one thing that i really wanted to work on on the beginning of the year was kind of finding like balance and like inner peace with myself i just feel very often through my videos very often when i meet some of you you're like oh my god you're always calming and whatever and i'm like that's maybe what it looks from the outside but internally it can be completely the opposite where my thoughts are just going crazy my body just feels so tense i don't know the to-do list never stop in my head and i've been really trying to find balance there i think redefining success was something really big for me i think i've always tried to prove something for myself and i have a fear of letting people down I mean, <laughs> you can literally hear i'm getting emotional of this i literally have a fear of letting people down and letting myself down and i don't know what it what it is um it's something i have really been working through in the last few months and i've made so much progress and i actually feel so much more inner peace i definitely felt that on this trip one of the biggest things that have helped for me is doing therapy um as you guys know my good friend jason is 
my coach, my therapist, we've been really talking a lot and like working through everything and I truly believe that therapy is one of the best things you can do for your mental health and also for your personal growth and to become a better version of yourself. It is an amazing way to just get your thoughts out, your feelings and to, to process them and it's something I can recommend literally to everyone even if there's not a specific problem that you're dealing with. I can completely understand that starting therapy is confusing, it's scary and it's very intimidating. Like I feel so lucky that Jason is a good friend of mine and is there for me to support. But there have been moments that I was going through some things that I rather discussed with a female therapist and this is where I found BetterHelp. Today's video is actually sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an amazing online therapy platform where you can get connected with therapists who can give you advice, guidance, can just listen to you and make it so so easy and convenient just to do that through the phone or through email or even just like text message if that's something that you feel more comfortable with. I truly believe that the most important thing with getting therapy is getting connected to a therapist that you feel connection with. The amazing part with BetterHelp is that if you don't like your therapist, you can easily switch to another one without any costs, don't have solved insurance. I think they have like 20,000 licensed therapists on their platform, so I am 100% sure there will be a therapist out there that you can get connected with and it's very easy to switch over. If you would like to try out BetterHelp, then you can head over to betterhelp.com sana, use the link down below and then get 10% off your first month. Starting is honestly so easy, you just fill out a little questionnaire on their website and then you can get matched to a therapist, you can schedule a session and then you can get start talking. And honestly, I think this is really the first step of taking control of your life. I am sweating here, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna get very personal <laughs> i definitely think like one of the things in therapy that really helped me with like finding for example work life balance was really prioritizing what i thought was important and i also think redefining success was really important because what is successful for one person means maybe something different for another for some people it might be status and money and all of that but I think for me, at the end, success is really to live a very happy and fulfilled and healthy life. I think scheduling in more alone time, scheduling in more time with family, scheduling more time with friends, I think that definitely has helped me a lot in finding balance. You know, before doing a massage or going on a trip or whatever, I just feel those type of things are just kind of like very short-term type of solutions like i often thought like oh i need a break and then i would i don't know go for a spa day or i would um go on a little mini vacation or whatever but at the end it is certain like habits and lifestyle habits that you actually need to change to have a long-term effect so i definitely think doing that like having more family time on a very consistent consistent basis more alone time and i think redefining productivity there as well i always felt if i was productive with work then i would just like feel good about myself and this is something i definitely had to learn because you can be productive in self-care or just productive in being with your relationships and i think knowing that is something else but actually feeling that in your body is much harder and i feel the moment you actually start feeling that in your body that's where it's working and i think now i'm starting to feel it so i think that's been really really good and obviously this like ties in a little bit too with my whole weekend journey because i didn't go that deep into it in my earlier video of kind of embracing that and i think that was like a really scary part for me i have always like felt and looked a certain way and you know i i set a goal of i want to gain weight i want to have curves i want to feel more feminine but then again thinking that and saying that is so different than when it's actually happening when you're like oh my god my pants is not fitting anymore oh wait this dress used to look really good like that but now not anymore and it's just your body just changes and i think this is the one thing that after i posted my video 
there were so many of you in my dms talking about this that it's sometimes scary to have your body change and it feels weird and you just gotta like embrace it and celebrate it and just be so grateful that your body is working that it's showing up for you every single day in the way it does so i definitely think finding a lot of like gratitude there a lot of connection was really big and i would be lying if i'm saying i completely mastered that because i am still i still have days where i feel on top of the mountain i feel so confident i feel so good and everything and then there are other days where i am not feeling good about myself and i'm like oh i wish my booty was bigger or i wish i had more boobs or i wish i was more lean there or just negative self-talk honestly i'm working on it and um you know also comparing to others is a really big one i think we as human beings just automatically do that even though we don't want to um but yeah I also think like with the whole work-life balance it really came down to finding a little bit more of my identity i feel i just have always tied my identity to the things i am doing and maybe achieving rather than like just being i don't know if this makes any sense i have a feeling I'm, <laughs> i have a feeling i'm rattling right now i am literally just doing a therapy session with you guys I'm just getting it out there. I would normally in in certain stressful moments or when I would feel like anxious or whatever, I would just bulldozer through it. Kind of with a very masculine energy, I would just ignore it, put it on the side and just go, go, go. I think that was kind of my approach to whenever feelings came up. In the last months, I've been learning more to take more of a feminine energy approach there where I'm actually sitting in the feeling and just letting it happen and just really asking myself what am I feeling right now, where's it coming from, what are we going to do about it and just like allow it to to be there because we are human and I think this is a big difference and I've been reading a lot more about like the feminine and the masculine energy and I just find it very interesting I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Tony Robbins he's one of the biggest like NLP coaches and motivational speakers coaches out there in the entire world he does this like yearly seminar of three days which is supposed to be crazy with 10,000 people the seminar is called unleash the power in you and I don't know what it is I over the last few months I felt there is more for me to get out and to give but I don't know how to untap it. I also really know that obviously Jason and Max are all about like self-growth and really enjoy it. So I gave them a birthday present and the three of us are going to Tony Robbins next week or so this weekend. It's gonna be so fun. I do not know what to expect. It is 10,000 people in a giant stadium. You're gonna be yelling, you're gonna be jumping, you're gonna be springing and apparently people have insane breakthroughs in life, in personal life, work life, kind of like everything. I don't know, I don't have any expectations going in there. Um, I still need to do some worksheets, whatever, before that. But I think this is gonna be really, really cool. And I feel very fortunate that I'm gonna be able to do something like this. I feel my cheeks are getting really, really red right now because I'm like really hot. Also guys, this is the lip balm that I've been using in almost every video and you guys have all been asking, it's the Road peptide lip treatments and i'm obsessed with it i really this i think this is the unflavored one i really like the caramel one it's really good i hope you guys enjoyed this little coffee talk i guess it's a little matcha talk i just wanted to let you know that whatever you're going through you are definitely not alone we are all human beings struggling with our own insecurities fears um that is okay we're all here to support one of each other and i hear you i can see you let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions for me and i will see you guys very soon bye